Tonight, questionable police sergeant practices and the fallout for Bay Area cops. That plus the day's top stories in tonight's Two Minute Mix. Banned from double duty. In the wake of Ray McDonald's domestic violence case, San Jose police suspended all its officers from working side jobs as private security for the 49ers. So right away, you're in a conflict of interest. The night of McDonald's arrest, a police sergeant who worked as a security guard for the team was already at the home before other officers showed up. Flasher manhunt in Palo Alto. The police department is stretching its force to the limit to find two guys driving around exposing themselves. We have people come in earlier to their shifts. Uh, people come in on their days off. There have been four cases in five days in Palo Alto and Belmont. Back for more cash. President Obama touched down at SFO this afternoon and headed to a fundraiser at the W Hotel in San Francisco. He flies back to Washington tomorrow. Returns. The Blue Angels took flight and the parade of ships sailed into the bay. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it a lot. The ships are docked along the Embarcadero. They'll be here through the weekend. A motorcade and a memorial. The Honor Guard escorted the body of pilot Craig Hunt to San Jose this afternoon. Hunt's air tanker crashed fighting this wildfire in Yosemite. We do not see any thing that leads us to any mechanical related issues with the accident sequence. Cal Fire just reactivated its ST2 air tankers for duty. Did Thomas Eric Duncan have to die? Medical records show the Dallas Ebola patient had a 103 degree fever, even said he'd been to Liberia, but the hospital still sent him home. Duncan returned to the ER three days later. He didn't get that kid. The kid he deserved, like everybody else in America. Duncan is the only one to die from Ebola in the United States. Tonight